what was the relationship with the alcohol like before the comeback? Oh man, it was it was brutal. I, that, that's the only thing I can think of, man. Brutal. I mean, l there were several stretches where literally it was 24-7. Literally. And I couldn't get through a day without just being completely trashed day in and day out. So, yeah, brutal is the best word to describe it. It impacted every area of your life. Oh, everything. Relationships, business, everything. Um, relationship with my kids, which is the most important thing. So, yeah, it affected everything. It was horrible. Horrible. What is the relationship like now after the comeback? With, with, in your life, in your business, with alcohol, all in general? What's, what's it like now? Oh, I can, everything, I can sum it up. I mean, it, it really is like night and day. Frankly, I have, I, I'm amazed, I really am, that it has happened this quick. Um, first of all, yeah, the alcohol is not even an issue anymore. I'm not even tempted. I have no desire. None, right? None. But it's gone beyond that. And this is where I'm really, really pleasantly surprised is every aspect of my life has, has improved tenfold. Okay. My kids relation, my relationship with my kids has gotten just, oh my gosh, I just got off the phone with them, FaceTime with them. And I asked the question, you know, rate, rate a relationship. They said infinity, both of them. Right. You know how good that sounds to a father who wants nothing more. You know, and so that's just amazing. Business taking off, you know, um, businesses, I should say, are taking off. And really the overall theme, I, I'm, I'm starting to realize more and more with this, is control. I'm it, it, this has allowed me to take control back, whereas before I felt like my life was completely out of control. Living by the seat of my pants, living in survival mode, now I actually have intent, purpose, I have control, and you know, there's obviously, it's, it's just part of the journey, right? The journey never ends. If, and, I, and I've mentioned this to you before, Mark, that in the, I mean, in the last month alone, I've had so many people even tell me, dude, there's something different about you. There's something, or, you know, you've, you're back, or what the hell have you been doing? <laughs> you know, because I haven't really said a whole lot to people about what I'm doing, you know, although I'm starting to say more and more, but they've noticed. So... And then health, they'll throw this throw in fitness, right? 35 pounds, tomorrow will be week 12. 35 pounds in 12 weeks. And I feel freaking amazing. You know? So, yeah. What do you think the biggest gift the comeback has given you, but also you gave yourself by joining this program? The biggest gift is a plan. The biggest gift that the comeback has given me is a plan and like a system. Because you can sit there and say, well, I want to change my life. Okay, great. Now what? <laughs> Without a system, where are you going to go with it? Not, I mean, that's where a lot. That's where almost everyone's going to fail. So the the biggest gift is the system, the plan, and frankly, the network. I mean, being around these, you know, other other people who are highly successful, who are who are on the same path you're on, and determined and motivated to get there, and then having you as the the William Wallace, right? The leader of the group. And knowing that you've been through all that, that's that, and you've overcome, you've come back. I mean, that just hands down. The biggest gift I've given myself is I've actually allowed myself to take it, to, to decide and commit to doing it. And just allowing myself to bring it, to take it all in and let's do it. The guy that's on the fence right now thinking about deciding, committing, just can't make the choice. What do you tell him? Would you recommend us? What does he do? In a heartbeat. Put me on the phone with him. I mean, seriously, um, it's really simple, you know, you have, and this is how I looked at it. Okay. You can either stay on the path you're on. Good news is, you know, where that leads, I guess, I guess that's good news, right? At least there's no surprises, right? Well, actually there probably will be, you just don't know it yet. Or you can, you can go ahead and take a leap of faith in yourself, take a leap of faith in this and just, you know, do it. What's the worst that's going to happen? Right. You're going to, you know, but I mean, I'm telling, I, I would in a heartbeat tell people this, you will, if you commit, you do the work, you do it, you follow it and you're coachable. You will see success hands down.